Hello everyone, today we are going to go over some Blind75 leak code today, and to, the problem we are working with today for our uh, Blind75 C++ is longest substring without repeating characters. Now, before we get started, we always write out our questions of, we need to ask ourselves, what is the input, what data structure slash algorithm slash technique we're going to use, what to do with the data, and what our output's going to be. So, to be able to give a breakdown, Given a string s, find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So based on the question, we are given a string. And then what we need to do with the data is find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. And then we'll go over the examples. So, in terms of the behavior we need to replicate, say for instance we are given a string of ABC, ABC, BB with an output of 3. The answer is ABC with a length of 3 because we have a 1, 2, 3 unique characters within our string that are not repeating. And it, it seems as if that we keep a count or we keep a, a record of any character we have visited if it's unique. And if it's not unique, then we will break off the entire substring. And let's go over example two. We have B, 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 B with an output of one. The answer is B with the length of one, hence right over here, pretty straightforward. And for this one, P, W, W, K, E, W with the output of three. The answer is W, K, E with the length of three right here. And notice the answer must be a substring and it cannot be uh, P W K E. Hence because we have another character that is in between P W and K E. So with our following output we have here and S contains English servers. Okay. So be able to break down over the questions we have already answered. So we already know what our input's going to be from our question. You can even look at the parameters at the same time to discern what our input's going to be. It's a string. And then we already know what we're going to do with the data. We need to find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. And for our output, as highlighted by the example, we will return an integer representing the number of unique elements we have visited in our string. What is the longest substring with unique characters? Those are our questions that we would have. And so the technique I'm going to introduce you folks today is going to be called the sliding window technique. Where unlike binary search where it's divide and conquer method and you have three different variables of a low, high end, and a middle, and then you find one area and then cut off another area until you found the specific element you're looking for. And it's not the two pointer technique where you just have two uh, variables, a low and a high end, where in your sliding window, you are given a range that you also need to uh, figure out within a data structure you're trying to scan through like an array. The sliding window technique has one, two points, and then also has a length that one could already set. So there are three variables one must construct, particularly a low, high, and maximum length for the sliding window technique. And with our sliding window technique, we will scan through our array to keep track over the number of unique characters we have visited through our array. And how we're going to keep track of everything. So a data structure that we can actually use for this is called a set. Where a set sort of behaves in a, in a case like a map. Just the only difference is, is that you don't have two values. You have one value you keep track of. And we're going to use the set to store all the unique characters we have visited 
using the sliding window technique. And so I'm going to go over the steps over what we need to do for what we are going to do with our data. So first things first, we are going to initialize two pointers at the beginning of the string, which will represent our low and high, which will represent the left side, left and right. You can call whatever you want. You can call low and high. But for the sake of what we're doing, we're going to call this the left and the right which will be representing the beginning, the left, and then the right, the end of the string. And then we will have our and initialize our maximum length which will be a variable. The low, high end, uh, so the left and the right, along with our uh, max length, is going to be for our set. We're going to use the set again to be able to store every single character. Use the set to store every single character we visited with our, from our string. There we go. And then also we will initialize our set. And so what we will be doing then is that we're gonna use a while loop in this case. So while, and then in this while loop, we are going to expand upon the relationship of our three variables that we have already created between our low right and our max length. So while we will expand upon the relationship of them relative to our string. So in this while loop that we're going to create, we will have right being less than the length of the string because we're scanning throughout the rest of the array. And then what we will do that if the string is if we are at the end of string we the end of string we stop scanning so basically what we will be doing is we will be extending the right pointer until we find a repeated character or reach the end of the string and then for every unique character we will add it to the set and our right right variable is going to represent our counter and then what we will be doing is that we will update the max length if the current length of the sub String is larger, and then if the character is already in the set, remove characters from the left until the repeated character is eliminated. So that way we can check to have unique characters. And the max length is what we will be returning. So, to so now just write down everything that we have done so far. Just gonna put this up here to organize. So, first things first, what are we going to do with the data? And then our output as well. 
So first thing we will do is we're going to initialize our left, right, it's going to be zero, and then int max length, zero, and then initialize set, which be set car, make a set. So while the right, we have to expand upon the relationship between two. Uh, dot length, which is a method called upon from string. Um, we will extend, extend the right pointer until you find a repeated character. So what we will be doing is that we're going to be calling on this method called find where find is sort of like a for loop in of itself for a set, except for the differences, it's much more efficient and it's within the context of our set. So whenever you're scanning an array, instead of having a for loop, you can use find to be able to call upon which element you're trying to find within the data structure you're trying to scan through. So find right. That's how you. That's how you're able to get there. Just want to be sure I got this right. Make a set. End. All right. Make sure I got the syntax right. Now we're going to insert the unique character in our. Set. There we given string. And then we're going to update the max length. Where our max length is going to be equal to max of max length. Make a set size, which is a method called upon from from the STL library for set, and then we'll have else Enter. ready in set remove characters from the left until repeated character eliminated. <sighs> Make a set. Dot erase left. Alright. And finally we're gonna return our max length. I wanna be sure I get this right. Should be less than. All right, pass all the test cases. All right, and it works pretty well. All right, so just to give a rundown over exactly how our following technique is able to work is that the time complexity for our solution is going to be O of n uh, to start is that n is representing the length of a given string and therefore it runs in constant time and then for our space complexity the space complexity is going to be pretty unique because it is going to be O of n, O of min m of n where m is the size of the character set and in the worst case scenario the entire string uh, would have distinct characters and the set would then contain all the characters hence the space complexity would be O of n altogether but Again, we have a worst case scenario, and then we have, um, and our space complexity is going to be O of min M of N, where M is the size of the character set. However, in the worst case scenario, uh, will be O of N altogether. So it would be unique, but again, it's relative to the character size at the same time that we are also adding upon. Uh, so our best case would be O of min M of N, and then our um, worst case would be O of N. So yes, this was 
longest repeating substring uh, without repeating characters. Uh, thank you again for taking time to watch this. If you enjoyed this or have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. And as always, um, yeah, take care. Cheers.